friends, you may have seen many grand buildings. And while these structures are often marvels of brilliant engineering, not every building is constructed perfectly. Sometimes mistakes during construction lead to billions of dollars being wasted. In today's video, I'm going to tell you about the most expensive engineering mistakes in the world. So let's begin our countdown. Golden 117. Friends, the tall building you see here is located in Tianjin, China. In August 2008, a company named Golden Financial started its construction. This 128-story building stands 1,957 feet tall. The Golden 117 building was constructed for hotels, apartments, and commercial spaces. You'll be surprised to know that 89 elevators were installed inside the building, along with swimming pools, luxury apartments, and even play areas. It was set to become the fifth largest building in the world, with Golden Financial spending $10 billion on its construction. But unfortunately, this project failed so badly that they haven't recovered even a single penny to this day. In 2015, the Chinese government banned the building because, in China, constructing buildings taller than 1,640 feet is illegal. When Golden 117 reached a height of 1,957 feet, it became an illegal structure. So, not only was the building banned, but a hefty fine was also imposed on its owner. Since then, the building has remained as it is. It cannot be used or reconstructed. Interestingly, this building holds the Guinness World Record for the tallest abandoned building. China's daredevils now use this structure for climbing. Due to a small mistake, the owner of this building lost 1 billion US dollars. Pause 3S, the Ghost Mall of Bangkok. Friends, this eerie structure you see here is the New World Mall, located in the heart of Bangkok, Thailand. The mall was constructed in the early 1990s by the New World Development Corporation. This 11-story building was envisioned to be a bustling shopping center featuring hundreds of retail shops, food courts, and entertainment venues. However, things took a dark turn in 1997 when it was discovered that the developers had violated building regulations by exceeding the permitted height limit. The Thai government ordered the demolition of the top seven floors, reducing the mall to a four-story structure. It paused 2S. Unfortunately, the story doesn't end there. In 2004, a fire broke out, leaving the building in ruins and forcing its permanent closure. With no roof and constant exposure to the elements, the mall became a breeding ground for mosquitoes. In an unexpected twist, locals introduced fish into the flooded lower levels to control the mosquito population. Today, the mall is home to thousands of fish, transforming it into an unintended urban aquarium. Pause 2S. As you can see in the video, the mall stands as a haunting reminder of failed urban development. It's a popular spot for urban explorers and photographers who are drawn to its surreal and ghostly atmosphere. Despite its eerie charm, the mall is a stark example of the consequences of ignoring building regulations and the unforeseen outcomes of such oversights. Pause 2S. The New World Mall may never see shoppers again, but it has certainly carved out a unique place in urban legend and history. An ambitious dream turned into an aquatic ghost town, reminding us that sometimes nature finds a way to reclaim what was once its own. Galyuo Bridge Friends, this bridge was built in August 2018 in the Taiwanese city of Hualien. The bridge was constructed to connect the villagers of Yeli Town, Hualien, to the city. Yelly Town is an area with 15 villages but no direct connection to the city due to a river between them. The Taiwanese government decided to build a bridge for the convenience of the people. The bridge was about half a kilometer long, took a year to build, and cost millions of dollars. Unfortunately, this bridge did not last long. On September 19, 2022, two dangerous earthquakes struck the area. The bridge, which appeared normal, was completely destroyed by the quake. As you can see in the video, no part of the bridge was left intact. The engineers did not consider earthquake safety when constructing the bridge, and it lacked the strength to withstand shocks or proper support. To save costs, the engineers left the bridge to fate. Fortunately, no lives were lost, but the government suffered a financial loss of millions. The bridge lay in ruins for two years until reconstruction recently began, again costing millions of dollars. This incident is truly a financial disaster. Friends, the Nuke Gate project was a massive and expensive undertaking in South Carolina. It was initiated by two major firms, the South Carolina Electric and Gas Company and public authorities. In 2008, they decided to build two new reactors to provide electricity to all of South Carolina. 
These firms passed a bill of $9 billion for the project and started construction, but as time passed, the project's costs increased to $10.2 billion. Anyway, they finally built two new power plants, and it was time to launch them. After all the hard work and money spent, when the power plants were tested, they didn't produce any electricity. Despite many attempts to run them, there was a technical error preventing power generation. After realizing they had lost billions, the owners ordered a recheck and reconstruction of the plants. Nine years passed, and the cost soared from $10 billion to $25 billion. Yet, after spending $25 billion, these plants still couldn't generate electricity. Eventually, both companies went bankrupt, and these power plants that cost $25 billion never produced a single watt of power. This story serves as a stark reminder of the importance of thorough planning and execution in large-scale projects. The Newt Gate project will forever be remembered as a monumental financial disaster. So friends, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, Allah Hafiz. But wait, before we wrap up, let's take a detour to a place that has intrigued historians and urban explorers alike, the Michigan Central Station in Detroit. This grand Bogart building, once a bustling hub of activity, now stands as a haunting reminder of a bygone era. Built in 1913, Michigan Central Station was once the tallest rail station in the world. It was designed to be a gateway to the city with luxurious waiting rooms, opulent chandeliers, and intricate marble work. For decades, it served as a critical transit point welcoming travelers from all across the nation. However, as the years rolled by, the rise of the automobile industry and the decline of rail travel led to a gradual decrease in passengers. By the 1970s, the station had fallen into disrepair and in 1988, it closed its doors for good. Since then, it has remained abandoned, a ghostly relic of Detroit's industrial past. Over the years, the station has been the subject of numerous redevelopment plans, but none have come to fruition. Its once grand halls are now filled with debris, broken windows, and graffiti. Yet, despite its dilapidated state, Michigan Central Station continues to captivate the imagination of those who visit it. It's a place where history seems to hang in the air, where the echoes of the past can almost be heard if you listen closely enough. In recent years, there has been renewed hope for the station. In 2018, Ford Motor Company purchased the building with plans to transform it into a hub for automotive innovation. The project aims to breathe new life into the station and the surrounding area, blending the past with the future in a way that honors Detroit's rich history. So, while Michigan Central Station may have fallen into ruin, it stands as a symbol of resilience and the enduring spirit of a city that refuses to be forgotten. Its story is far from over, and we can only wait and see what the future holds for this magnificent building. And with that, we conclude our journey through some of the world's most fascinating abandoned places. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more intriguing stories. Until next time, take care and stay curious.